I wonder why they'd rather you be like this than like this. They want you to live in a fantasy world. Americans have been watching, and some of them even cheering, as their rights are eroded by authoritarian monsters that until recently had complete control over the narrative. Now with the internet, their vapid bumper sticker positions have been struggling to coexist with the truth. But do not underestimate the vast amounts of money they can divert towards endless platforms to spread their propaganda. Platforms that will not censor them like they censor us. The Second Amendment is under attack by people who have almost endless amounts of money. People that have complete control over everything from the entertainment industry to the monetary system. A system that provides infinite funding for think tanks, researchers, focus groups, writers, marketing, celebrities. They can afford any venue they want. Produce hordes of their followers who sold their dignity out long ago, who are now selling out their fellow countrymen for a paycheck or a bus ticket or 15 minutes of fame. Even the washed up Mark Hamill is jumping on the gun grab bandwagon. If you're buying Star Wars merchandise of any kind, you're officially funding the opposition. It's not any more complicated than that. And if you can't control your urge to own a Death Star waffle iron, you'll get no sympathy from me while you're trying to defend your family with a lightsaber dildo. These masters of language have come up with such terms as pro-choice to mask abortion, undocumented guests to shield illegal aliens, and their current target, assault rifles, and gun reform to camouflage their dismantling of the Second Amendment. As with all of their news speak, it's an inversion of reality. There is no choice for the unborn or for fathers. The invading aliens were never invited, and the assault they speak of is the assault on our rights that these weapons are meant to protect. Because they have to disguise their intentions, there is no substance to their arguments. They're forced to pervert reality for the deception to work. For example, any time a leftist suggests they respect the intent of the Founding Fathers, you know whatever's about to follow is going to be a mutilation of reality. They say the Founders only had muskets and could not have envisioned modern weaponry. So therefore, the right to bear arms doesn't apply. What logically follows, of course, is that the Founders could not have imagined the Internet. So the First Amendment should only apply when you're writing on parchment or speaking face to face. And even in this, they're inconsistent because they don't even pretend to protect speech under those primitive circumstances. In fact, if society were to buy into this line of thinking, the next logical step would be to enact common sense speech control on this kind of speech that the founders couldn't have possibly have envisioned. They will say that nobody needs an AR-15 for home defense. Which, again, is a perversion of reality. Because a home invasion is not the circumstance these weapons are intended for. Do not accept the premise that these weapons are for personal home defense against common criminals. The left has been extremely successful at shifting this goalpost and manipulating people into thinking that this is the purpose of the Second Amendment. It should be no secret that the Second Amendment was written by men that had just recently defeated a tyrannical government and establish their own free society, and these men desired that the citizens of this new society would have the means to follow their example should it once again become necessary to protect themselves against common criminals that might gain power and then conspire to rule them. And when you confront the leftists with this, they bring out the same tired old response. Oh, that's preposterous. Your rifle is no match for the U.S. military. You wouldn't stand a chance. And like everything the leftist proposes, this is a distortion of reality that ignores vast amounts of historical evidence. Do you think the Viet Cong would have been as effective against the U.S. military if they had been armed with muskets? Or what about the insurgents in Iraq and Afghanistan that are still fighting our military armed with similar weapons in a conflict that's spanning, what, 20 years now? Ask any soldier that has fought in an urban environment exactly how effective these weapons can be. And of course, the left knows that. It's always do as I say and not as I do with the left. That's why they've got armed bodyguards. What better example of the inversion of reality? And for those of you that'll say that the left just wants reasonable restrictions on so-called assault rifles, a term that is impossible to define, not only does that ignore the words of the activists themselves, this also ignores how the left operates. 
They are effective because they employ subtlety. They are political conmen, and a conman doesn't need to use force when they can convince you to hand over everything willingly. That's how a con works. They wear down the public little by little, and by the time the public realizes what's happened, it's already too late. That's how a con works. When income tax was first enacted, it only affected people making over the equivalent now of $250,000, and the rate was 1%. But little by little, they kept taking and taking and taking, and we end up with the oppressive tax code we have today. Watershed moments are unpredictable and have radical effects on society. How quickly Americans have forgotten that when Obama ran for president in 2008, he said marriage was between a man and a woman. I believe that marriage uh, is the union between a man and a woman. And by the time he left office, we were arguing over what bathrooms people could use. America's shift has been so quick. That was eight years. Do not underestimate these people. There is a method to their madness, which is exactly why they're seeking to sabotage your last defense against it, which is also why it's not enough to simply voice your support. You have to be proactive and exercise that right. It's your civic duty and obligation to arm yourself and your loved ones. If you simply support your rights with words, you are relying on other people to protect your family, which is not only stupid, it's immoral. There is no excuse to be unarmed right now. If you have over $200 worth of Star Wars merchandise in your home, and I bet there's people with a lot more than that, and you don't have a gun, do I even really have to say it? Just think about it. Just shouldn't you be embarrassed? Think of what that means. Think of the kind of sucker that makes you. Stop living in a fantasy world. In case you weren't paying attention, the monsters are real. For Black Pilled, I'm Devin Stack. If you like my content, make sure you like and subscribe. Click the notification bell so you know when new videos are posted. You can support me by going to patreon.com forward slash blackpilled or blackpilled.com forward slash donate or the crypto addresses down below.